Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. Watching the sunset twice from the same location is a repeatable scientific observation that any of us can make anywhere on the Earth. We know that if we watch the sunset while standing on the surface, we can then uh, gain height and watch the sunset again uh, and basically see the sun for longer the higher up we go. It, the interpretation of this is what is not scientific because it is assumed without comparing that we are looking down the curvature of the surface of a ball earth in order to see the sun again just by gaining height. But uh, we can easily uh, demonstrate and illustrate how we can see the sun for longer and we would see a sunset twice by gaining height above the flat surface of the earth. This is the view from my second floor here in Phuket and we will compare it to another picture of the same view taken uh, from the third floor, so about two and a half, three meters higher than this one. So let's just first see what happens as the sun comes down. Unfortunately I have to use CGI for this because this is a south facing balcony so anyway, the sun's set, and we'll just draw a line to mark where the top of the, the hill is, where the sun sets from this view, and then move on to this view taken from the third floor, which, as I said, is about between two and three meters higher. So now the hill in front of us appears much lower, and of course we can then see the sun for longer as it goes off into the distance. Now, it's only ever going to reach the vanishing line, the center point of our field of view when we are looking straight ahead, level. That's where the sun goes, and then it will shrink as it hits that vanishing point or line in our field of view. So it's important to keep in mind that we will always have this same relative height to the top of the hill in front of us, no matter how close or far away we are from it, it will always block off the sun when we are at this height, uh, even if we cannot see it and it is just part of the horizon. And of course this goes for any structure or mountain or city that might be in front of us but we cannot see and just is part of the horizon. So this of course is why the sun will eventually get cut off by a flat horizon as it it travels away from us and it will be cut off by peaks and even clouds of course that are higher than us and eventually block the Sun from our perspective on the flat surface. So anyone who is being truly scientific with these kinds of observations will be able to put aside any presuppositions and assumptions about what is happening and will at the very least be able to admit that both the globe earth and flat earth scenarios are possible interpretations of sunsets. It then comes to uh, studying and observing other factors to really determine what is actually happening at the horizon when the sun sets. Thank you very much.